What's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. Today is again May 9th, 2021. It's a Sunday and in fact Mother's Day. So again, I already made a video yesterday. Oh no, it was today. Earlier this morning at around 1 a.m. Somewhere around there. But well, happy Mother's Day again to all the mothers out there watching. Whether it's a, you know, a human mother or an animal mother. Whatever it is. Happy Mother's Day to you. And, in fact, it's been a crazy weekend on top of just Mother's Day for Dogecoin as well. Like we already know, Saturday Night Live aired yesterday, obviously, on Saturday night. And, uh, it had, I mean, we already knew it was going to come one of two ways. Either it was going to spike up or drop down. There's no in-between. There was no, it's just going to stay steady. That was out of the picture. And I think everybody already knew that beforehand. And just like uh, Doge Day 420, April 20th, same sort of situation happened. All this hype got built into one specific day. And then the whales, the shorts, whatever you want to call them. It was maybe a mixture of both, honestly. Sold off, made the price drop. Hit some, some limit sales, maybe. I don't know if you could do that on crypto or not. Uh, and yeah, just panic selling left and right. And it was pretty bad. I think it went all the way down to the low 50s. I think I want to say I've seen it at 49 or 48 cents as well. No, actually, no. I think it went lower than that. Fuck that. Where'd we go to? No, we went down to 38, 39 cents. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, so it went, it went really low because we were chilling at like 72 cents. Uh right before it, it uh, the Saturday Night Live started it doesn't want to show it but at some point yesterday we were like at 73 74 cents and then right before the show aired it just dropped down dead but we are back up and running and in fact there's some great news that came out earlier this morning that shocked me but at the same time it makes sense with everything Elon Musk has been saying and tweeting and doing throughout this entire year. And we'll just jump right into it. I'm sure if you're a Dogecoin supporter, owner, fan, whatever, you've seen the news already. And this is a article that came out earlier, 324. And it says, SpaceX accepts Dogecoin as payment to launch a lunar mission next year. And just just reading that title alone and then seeing the smiling Elon Musk face should give you goosebumps if you're an owner of Dogecoin right now. If you're a thinker and wanting to possibly buy some Dogecoin or even buy more Dogecoin, this should be giving you goosebumps and push you over the edge to make your decision. If anything will, I think it will be this. But again, I I have no say in what you pick to do. Uh, just my my saying of what I would expect in my own shoes if, if this was me. Because I actually decided if Dogecoin goes back down below 50 cents, maybe around the 45 cent range, I am going to buy back. Not buy back, but I'm going to buy more. Dogecoin. In fact, I'll probably drop another five grand into Dogecoin. I only got 415 in it right now, but I will drop a nice stack into Dogecoin because the future is looking so bright right now. And the other thing about it, it says next year, right? So that means the hype for Dogecoin is for sure going to last all year long now because we're going to be anticipating this launch happening next year. But let me go ahead and jump into the article real quick. We'll just read to the left real fast. It says, SpaceX founder and chief engineer Elon Musk reacts at a post-launch news conference to discuss the SpaceX Crew Dragon astronaut capsule in flight abort test at the Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral, Florida, U.S., January 19, 2020. So this was last January. And the article said, let me scroll up so we can keep Elon's smiling face in there. SpaceX will launch the Doge 1 mission to the moon in the first quarter of next year, with Elon Musk commercial rocket company accepting the meme-inspired cryptocurrency Dogecoin as payment. So let me just reread that main piece of it. Dogecoin as payment. 
next year, first quarter, for a, a mission to the moon. Geometric Energy Corporation announced the Dogecoin funded mission on Sunday with the statement not disclosing the mission's financial value. We are excited to launch Doge One to the moon. SpaceX Vice President at Commercial Sales Tom Oncinero was quoted as saying in the statement released by Ge Geometric Energy, uh, this, this mission will demonstrate the application of cryptocurrency beyond Earth orbit and set the foundation for inter interplanetary commerce. Musk said on Twitter in April that SpaceX was going to put a literal, literal Dogecoin on the literal moon. Dogecoin lost more than a third of its price on Sunday after Musk called it a hustle during his guest host spot on the Saturday Night Live comedy sketch TV show. Uh, Musk tweets it this year turned the once obscure digital currency which began as a social media joke into a spe speculator's dream. Read more hell now. Electric car maker Tesla, where Musk is CEO, said in February about $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin and would soon accept it as a form of payment for its electric cars. A large stride towards mainstream acceptance that sent Bitcoin soaring to a record high of nearly 62000 And I think right now it's at like fifty-eight or 59000 so it's still pretty high up there. But, there, that, I mean, it was a short article, but there's a lot of juicy information in there. If you go back and think about everything that Elon Musk has tweeted over the past year so far, these past five months, and even earlier last year as well, one of the main things he always says is to the moon. More specifically, yesterday, that was the last thing he said on the little news Doge Fathers skit was to the moon. And you know, he was all hype and hype and happy and whatever. And he probably, I mean, he already obviously knew this was going down. And so it's all just like dominoes and pieces to the puzzle getting placed perfectly. He's, this is like his chess board right now. And, you know, it's just crazy that, you know, a lot of people have said that Dogecoin supporters are overanalyzing everything Elon Musk tweets and says. But at the end of the day, this just shows that he is foreshadowing every move that he's about to make but very you know discreetly for the most part and i know there's other twitter users and social media people out there that like to uncover and make theories of what elon musk is saying when he tweets stuff out like the deeper meaning behind it and to the moon is one of the main things that he was saying yesterday which makes sense because you're gonna send the first Doge one or not the first, but they're gonna launch Doge one mission to the moon. Doge one the rocket, uh, and then um, where where to say that? Yeah, the, he's gonna put a literal literal Doge coin on the literal moon because of the rocket going to the moon, and so it's just every little thing just correlates to what he's been tweeting and what you know what other people have been speculating. Uh, I know someone was speculating satellites that will be related to Doge in some sort of fashion. Uh, but yeah, big news that just came out the day after his SNL appearance. Um, the other thing about it, maybe Elon Musk already knew that by having this SNL appearance and performance that the Dogecoin price would fall because of you know everybody hyping it up for a certain day that's typically when things go south and so he could buy in a whole bunch at a cheaper rate which could make sense as well if you knew this deal was about to go down and uh yeah there's just so many little things I, i'm not one to really analyze it as much as others would i just think very around the box not farther out than that uh but yeah that's just amazing news that came out today i didn't even see it anywhere honestly like on twitter that's my main source of information. I look on the Twitter trending page. I didn't see it. Apparently that article, not that article, but the news came out three hours before I even seen it or heard about it. And that's why I tweeted out this one right here. We're really going to the moon. That was two hours ago. So it came out. What time did I tweet this? At 2.54. So it came out earlier this morning. 
uh, but I didn't fucking see a damn thing about it anywhere until uh, Google always, I'm sure it does the same thing for you. It suggests some um, articles that you might be interested in viewing based off your search history, I assume, or whatever, you know, it's listening to you on your phone and laptop, whatever you're saying, and it's listening to you in the background, and then you'll be scrolling on Facebook or Google or wherever else on a web page, and then you'll see the stuff you've been talking about out loud but never searching up, posted up on the page somewhere, and you're like, what the fuck? And so, I mean... I hate that they do that, but the fact that it's very accurate and it's what I want to see, it makes me not as mad, so I don't know what to think about it, honestly. I don't say too much confidential stuff out loud for the most part, but then again, yeah, I kind of do because my phone's always around me whenever I talk. Anyways, painting update from my friend. So on the right side is the image he was basing his painting portrait of Elon Musk off of. And the left is obviously what he painted thus far. He said he's almost there with the painting. Um, this is obviously isn't the whole shot of the painting canvas, just a portion of it again. Uh, but he said he's going to send me over an update of the overall painting later on tonight. So I will post it out on Twitter if you're interested on seeing how it's turning out. If you've seen the whole thing so far, in my last one, it looks something like this with the Doge, the Doge coin, which he hasn't finished yet, Elon Musk, and then they're in outer space, which he's still got to put all the details for the background out there. And yeah, that's all that I got for my stuff. Go ahead and follow me if you have it already. There's the, there's the at. Um, but my link is in the bio below as well, so you just gotta click the link and you'll find me. And I just tweet out random shit all day long and then I post my links to my videos so you know whenever it's, sh you know, it's dropping out. Let's see what is on the trending page. Is there anything Dogecoin related out here today? So far, nothing. No, wait, there it is. Doge1. What else we got? Buy LLC. And that is it. Let's look at Doge 1 very quickly. SpaceX announces the Doge 1 mission. See, this was five hours ago. Mission to the moon for the Geometric Energy Corporation launching on a Falcon 9 rocket in the first quarter of 2022. GEC is sending a 40 kilogram CubeSat paid for entirely by the cryptocurrency Doge. The big piece of it again. SpaceX accepts Dogecoin as payment to launch Doge 1 mission to the moon next year. Dogecoin, Doge 1 is a game changer. Of course, Matt Wallace is one of the guys that always you know, digs deep into what people are tweeting, like Elon Musk and uh, Jeff Bezos more recently and all that kind of stuff. And Doge 1 is going to the moon, literally. Some exciting news for Doge 1 future. Skit. People hearing about SpaceX after not holding Doge coin, looking like a dummy. And then, he, if you don't remember, Elon Musk tweeted this. Uh, I think it was earlier this year. And it's just foreshadowing yet again. What's this person say? Justin, Elon Musk, and SpaceX will launch Doge 1 to the moon. SpaceX will accept Dogecoin's payment to launch the mission later this year. Elon said SpaceX is going to put a literal Dogecoin on the literal moon. And that is true, and that's what it's going to be looking like. Come Q1 of 2022, SpaceX, Dogecoin doing big things. Multi-planetary. Doge 1 is trending. It is trending. And then, in fact... Uh, today, as you can see, 7 o'clock, I think this is when the news kind of happened. From 40 sets, we went all the way back to 55. So, just imagine that. And then this is, right here is where I say is our break. Not our break, but our average for the most part. And that's pretty much where we are. Just a little bit below it right now, between 55 and 60 cents is where we're pretty much leveling out at for the most part. And again, I said it's going to take about 48 hours since Saturday Night Live aired for everything to calm down and the smoke to clear. So we're getting closer to that time frame. I think by Monday, tomorrow, at this time, we should have a very 
consistent price point for the most part unless more news comes out but then again you never know crypto is very volatile as we all know so it might change around for the people that bought in you know like right here don't be scared if you need the money of course sell when you think it's a good time to sell it uh, if you want to just cut your losses because you need the money again then of course sell it whenever you think you know you're gonna peak it and get the most for your value uh, if you can afford to hold on then I would say hold strong if you want average down buy some more just so you don't have to go the full length to get back to the 74 75 cent range uh, but of course your own discretion what you got to do is your decision but that's just some tips on what to do if you don't you know if you get scared by looking at what's happening all the time like if you always check your phone or whatever to see what the price is at then I would suggest not doing that at all because then you're going to get paranoid and you're going to get stressed out and all this other crap. So save yourself the headache and just don't look at it if that's the issue. But anyways, go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, in the comments down below, what do you think you're going to see the price of Dogecoin at average for the most part for the rest of the week? I'm thinking we'll see it around... 57 58 cents for the rest of the week if not higher it's not going to be it's not going to be below 50 honestly unfortunately even though i want to buy more it's not going to go below 50 i don't i don't think i'm thinking 57 58 cent range so go ahead let me know what you think and i will see you guys in the next